It was day one in the preliminary hearing for the man charged with the murder of San Luis Obispo woman Kristen Marty. KSBY's Alexa Bertola was in the courtroom all day where drugs, sex, money, and cell phone apps were brought up. A handful of San Luis Obispo police officers testified about the man they say Kristen Marty was last seen with alive. The suspect, Robert Kohler, sat with a concerned look on his face the entire time. January 9th was the day police say Kristen Marty was last seen alive. A day police say Robert Kohler later admitted to having contact with the 26-year-old. The courtroom was relatively empty with some family members of the victim. At one point, a woman walked out crying. Officer Greg Benson was the first to take the stand during Wednesday's preliminary hearing. He says Marty and her boyfriend, Nick Reed, lived in hotels and on the street and used heroin and meth. Marty was also known to police to prostitute for money and narcotics. Detective Chris Chitty brought up the Text Plus app, which allows users with Wi-Fi to text and call anonymously. Phone records show Marty had been communicating with six men on January 9th, one of them by the name of John Hill. Marty's boyfriend was aware she was going to meet up with someone on that day in Perfumo Canyon, Detective Chitty testified, but she never called for a ride home. Marty was reported missing nine days later. Police say from December 14th through January 9th, over 100 text messages were exchanged between Marty and John Hill. Police say the texts were about drugs and sex for money. Police say on the 9th, Hill offered to pick Marty up from San Luis Obispo, asking if she wanted to do some go fast, a street word for meth or cocaine. More than a month later, on February 22nd, Detective Caleb Kemp said police made their first contact with Kohler, believed to be John Hill. Kemp says Kohler was excessively nervous and never asked who the missing person was or what her disappearance had to do with him. After informing Kohler of the information they gathered from the Text Plus app, Kemp says the 36-year-old admitted to Texie Marty and meeting up with her. Detective Kemp says the victim was killed by a cut to the throat. A toxicologist testified there was cocaine, morphine, and meth in her system, among other drugs and alcohol. Testimony will continue through tomorrow when a judge will decide if there's enough evidence for the case to move forward to trial. In San Luis Obispo, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. Marty's body was not discovered until late March. Kohler was arrested nearly two months later and is being held at San Luis Obispo County Jail without bail.